4K for the fifth time, the fifth time, we are going to play Nobunaga's Ambition, Sphere of Influence. Now, I had gone on a hiatus from playing video games for about eight months, and this game, I saw it at GameStop, believe it or not. This is the shameless promotion for GameStop, and I had to get it. It is absolutely awesome, but I actually ended up buying it on Steam because I wanted to play it on the computer. Uh, I love this series. I love all these games. They're freaking super good. I hope to God that they bring freaking Romance of the Three Kingdoms 12, I think it is, 12, to computer. It would be phenomenal. So, uh, I have my own clan, as you can see. But here's a bunch of people here. Alright. So, we're going to go in and play the game as the man himself, Nobunaga. Now, this is the, uh, I believe, the struggle for power. Beginning of ambition, Nobuhide Oda, the man called the Tiger of Hawari, succumbed to disease and left leadership of the clan to his son, Nobunaga, who was rumored to be a great fool, they called him the fool of Hawari. With the threat of neighboring provinces and clan infighting on his mind, Nobunaga's eyes were set on the future. So we're going to start here. Let's take a little look here. Uh, we got, this is the man I'm playing as, you know, just a young kid still. Uh, the Oda clan, uh, you can see officers, maidens, blah, blah, blah that stuff, uh, blah, blah, I'll explain it all, gold supplies, horses, muskets, crops, soldiers, population, pretty self-explanatory stuff, uh, this is his brother Nobukatsu Oda, his younger brother, this is Nobutomo Oda, this is Dosan Saito, I believe I'm allied with Dosan Saito, uh, I'm married to his daughter actually, Ki, I don't remember who, what her name is, we'll, we'll figure it out in the game. Uh, these are probably going to be the big power players in my area. Yoshimoto Imagawa, just terribly hard to deal with. Um, Harunobu Takeda, terribly hard to deal with. He's a beast. Uh, Yoshiyasu Kiso, not so big of a deal. Naoyori Mitsugi, oh, I'm going to butcher these names, by the way, so don't get too upset. Mitsugi Clan, Jinbo Clan, Asakura Clan, Azai Clan, Rokaku Clan, Nagano Kudo and Kitabataka. Kitabatake clan, sorry. Kitabata Kitabatake clan. So, uh, Sutsu. Or, uh, yeah, Sutsu. And Ashikage. Now, Ashikage is important because of that is the capital. That's where the emperor is at. Uh, Yoshitaro Ashikake. Ashikage. He's descended from the emperor's lineage. They, I believe the Ashikage clan used to be the everybody that was an Ashikage was an emperor, the eldest at all times. I'm not sure if that still holds true right at this exact moment, but he is not emperor. But he protects the emperor because that's his family lineage or whatever. I don't know. We'll get it in game. It's good. So there's a lot of other ones. There's big power players. The Amago, uh, Motonari Mori, uh, Shimazu, not so sure. I see Sagara, not important. Otomo will be important at one point in time. Uh, uh, Ryu Zoji, uh, they will be important. Alright. Auchi, they'll be important. Alright. So, uh, Deite, Hojo. So, let's, uh, oops. Uh, what are we at here? Struggle, okay. Yeah, we want to play as Nobunaga. I'm going to play on hard just because I've played this before and it needs to be. But as you can see, you have your own clan, others. Uh, this is basically what you're going to deal with here. See how it changes as you change the settings. Obviously, the easier it is, the more benefits you're going to get, the less that the computer's going to get. Normal's pretty even across the board. Hard. They're going to get more income. They're going to get more soldier replenishment. You're just going to pretty much be normal. So we'll start off with that. Uh, created officers off because you don't want to see them in the game. I have like a million of them. They're very reasonable, just for an FYI. I don't make characters that are overpowered. OP, as they say. I try to keep them reasonable. I like to make them... I wouldn't say historically accurate, but statistically accurate to the way that I would perceive them. So, quests on, events on, battle deaths on, everything's on. Uh, one thing I did turn on, uh, that usually is on, I believe, fictional maidens. Uh, that means you can have children that didn't actually exist in the game. You know, like if uh, Nobunaga only actually had three daughters, you could have seven. It really it just depends. At random. Uh... Where's it at here? 
officer name. Yeah, we're not going to go the true names. Uh, I don't know anybody personally in Japanese history, but, like, for example, if you play any Dynasty Warriors or Romance of Three Kingdoms, there's uh, Zuge, Zuge, Zuge Liang, or Liang, Zuge Liang. His given name is Kong Ming. So, you know, if I turned this on and we were playing Romance of Three Kingdoms for some reason, instead of saying Zuge Liang or Zuge Liang, however you want to say it, it would say Kong Ming instead. I'm not going to do that. I probably could figure out from the picture, but I'm not going to even deal with it. It's just easier for me for explanation purposes. Plus, I'd like to know who the heck I'm clicking on. Uh, maiden Officers. This is something I do like. I'm going to keep it on. Super fictional. Uh, I believe that women in history had a larger role than they were given credit for because of their status in history. Uh, I don't think they were running into battle or anything. I'm sure there were some or somebody that had done it at a given point in time, but... It, I feel like that there were times when women did do some certain things, headed up certain fights, or maybe had some kind of bearing on what went on, so I'm just going to keep them in the game. Basically, I'm not sure if the people you marry get to be officers, but eh, we'll see. We'll see how it happens. It, I'll explain it. In-game edit. Uh, yeah, we can keep that on, but I'm not going to use it. So that's what we got. We're going to go with it. Eh, if it doesn't load up quick enough in between, you can get a little read-through on some characters in the game or some important figures. Uh, what we have here is the 20th year of Tenmon, 1551, Sumari Castle, Awari. And uh, I'm going to stop the video. This is a little introduction. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, I'll pop back in right at this point. This is uh, Cyrus Risa. We're doing Let's Play Nobunaga's Ambition Sphere of Influence. I hope you like the videos. Like it. Talk about stuff. Uh, let me know how you feel. Maybe throw down some stuff that you might want to see in the future. I'm always down for playing some games. I specifically like tactical strategy games like this, uh, real-time sims. And there's going to be some funny stuff I'm hopefully going to be streaming in the future. My brother is absolutely hilarious to play games online with. He's just ridiculous. So me, him, and my cousin, or me, him, my cousin, and myself, however the heck you say it, whatever, because I can't speak English. Hopefully we get that going. Uh, I'll keep you posted, and uh, please, by all means, watch my channel. Give me some conversation, throw me some uh, replies, you know, uh, check the link in descriptions if I have them. Uh, thanks for uh, checking it out, and I'll see you next time.